In my last video, I was asked a very simple question. How do you set a book map to look that clean? Well, it's very simple. It's very simple. When you first see book map, it might look all washed out like this once you've already downloaded. Now, before I continue with the video, I do want to let you guys know if you want to get a discount on book map or you're interested in book map, use the link in the description box down below. But for this, this is going to be very clean, very simple. We have a slider right up here. And what I like to do is pull this all the way to the right. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of some of the smaller orders that we normally see because when I'm trading with Bookmap, I'm looking for high liquidity levels. Then I'm also looking at the bubbles to see, you know, are we getting absorption at those levels? Now, another thing that you can do is you can play around with where the price access on the right hand side to try to scale this how you want it. Now, lately, I've actually been pulling this back here just a bit. So I can actually see any key levels that we have above us and look what we had out there in the market today. 53.10, 53.15, and 53.20. And when you go back and look at a price chart, does it look like those levels were taken out? They most certainly were. They provided great target locations for us out here today. Now, something else that you may do that you might want to clean things up a bit. Over here on the right-hand side, normally it'll come with these two tabs over here, current order book, then session volume profile. If you don't want to show both of them, you can right-click over here on the tab we can just click right down here, hit high column. That way, if you want a little bit more screen real estate, you'll find out that works. Also, I've actually found, instead of having book map, the full size of the screen like we have right here, I've also found one way to make it look a little bit better is to actually scale book map down here just a bit. Something about like this, and you'll see that for me, this just looks a lot cleaner to me. I can see the levels a lot, a lot cleaner, and the chart looks a lot cleaner to me than when I actually have it the full page size. Now, for those of you that stuck around, I'm going to share with you guys a quick trade entry strategy. Now, one thing to note, we had rest and liquidity sitting right here. The red line, the darker the red, the higher the liquidity at this level. We've hit it once, pull back. We hit it twice, we pull back. We're coming up, hitting it a third time. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead. I'm going to hit play real quick. I want to show you, watch as this actually unfolds. Watch the bubble as we're coming into this liquidity area. And we should see that the buyers really start to try to step in. I want to see the bubble get extremely large. Now, if and when that does occur, I want you guys to think already ahead of time. If you're going to get into a trade, where is one? Where's your stop loss going to be? Number two, where is your take profit going to be? And as you're looking at the chart right now, you should at least be able to answer one of those questions. Is it the stop loss or is it the take profit? Take a glance at the chart. Which, which do you think is more likely going to be the case? All right, now we can see the aggression of buyers are starting to step in. Notice the size of the bubble right now is almost larger than the other bubbles that we had. Now it did pull back here just a bit. Let's see, do the buyers make another attempt at trying to overtake that level? We can see, still see we have over 4,000 contracts sitting right there. That's what that red line essentially will represent for us. Now you can see we're coming back up into it again. Now I want to pause this real quick. Think about this. The more times we keep eating into an area, then eventually all this supply is going to be taken away. Once the supply is gone, where, what, where do you think the path for the market is likely going to be? If you guys said to the upside, you would be absolutely correct. Now, look, we get the big bubble. So you just see the big bubble. All the orders were taken. You can see the red line is gone. So now we could essentially enter the market right here near the top of the bubble. And think about this. Our stop loss would be where? Right below the bubble. We'll say 50, 53.09. Our entry, we'll say uh, 53.11. We'll even say 53.12. But our target is going to be all the way up here at 53.20. Why? Because that's the next level of liquidity. And if I go ahead and I fast forward this a little bit, what we'll see is the market will simply just go ahead and I believe it runs all the way up there. I'm going to speed this up a bit. Boom. Target filled. Now we do have more liquidity above us. So if you have more contracts on, then we can essentially move our stop loss to break even knowing that we want to target the next liquidity level right up here at about 53.30. Now, I don't know if it makes it straight there or not. Let's fast forward this real quick and see if we had a runner on, if it would have been hit or if our stop loss would have been taken out on this trade. We can see this has taken a lot longer than I would have liked to have seen. And now you can see they've already pulled some of that liquidity right there from up above us. And let's see, do, does our stop loss get taken out? The yellow line right here roughly is our stop loss. And now we can see a lot of that liquidity has already been taken away. So I'd probably want to be out of the trade at that point. But nonetheless, when you come right back over here and look at the chart, this is a very favorable reward to risk ratio. And the more that we can stack the odds in our favor, meaning the more reasons we have to take a trade along with 
if we can make more money on a winning trade than what we lose on a losing trade, that gives us a better opportunity to put ourselves ahead of the curve and not be like the 95% of other losing traders out there.